Hello, y'all. Hey, Jules. I'm holding my phone tonight, so it might be a little wobbly. So let me bring up Janelle. Hey, girl, how are you? Hey, hold on, it's loading. Oh, whoa. Hold on, I'll be hit just as camera. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So you've had a busy day today. Yes, I've had such a busy day. I've been filming all day long and editing on my computer. But yeah, it's been a lot. <laughs> yeah, so this video, I guess, that you're making is to, um, like you said in your story today, I guess, finally stand up for yourself. Um, hold, hold on, say that again. Sorry, my phone okay. popped up saying that. That's my okay. <laughs> I said, I guess, like you said in your story today, you're finally going to have to defend yourself. You took notes. You were prepared. You have receipts. So what are we going to be talking about? Yeah. Um, so basically, you know, with the girls podcast that happened and, you know, um, apparently Devin going live with, um, you know, that guy we all don't like. Uh, they ended up going live together and talking a lot about me and Gabby. And, you know, I'm just sick of the drama and talk and hearsay. And I wanted to put an end to it once and for all. So I just made a whole video with screenshots, receipts, everything that we need. Good, good. And that'll be uploaded to YouTube soon, hopefully. Um, so some of the things I, I think that she's been continuously saying um like she said last night was one was she never had any food um or water uh, she only there was only alcohol there was no accommodations um and I, I posted in my story that that doesn't seem like it's the case yeah so we ordered catering twice and you know there was definitely two fridge there's two uh, refrigerators. One was a mini fridge. One was a regular refrigerator. The regular refrigerator had a bunch of water in it. And then the mini fridge was the only fridge with alcohol in it. So she definitely was, she was able to get water whenever she wanted. David um, went and got coffee for all of us. Everybody in the studio, actually. And then uh, whenever we went to the studio in the morning, Gabby and David were with us. And we went to Chick-fil-A, so... I mean, she definitely got fed. No one denied her food. We ordering, we ordered catering twice. So, I mean, there's no reason why she should even be lying about that. It's just really crazy that she would make that up. Um, a lot of people in the chat are asking, who are we talking about? We're talking about the recent drama um, with Devin Clegg, um, I can say it, um, from 90 Day Fiance, um, and a blogger um, named... Uh, John Yates. So um, they continuously go live. Um, and, you know, Janelle's more or less has, hasn't said much about this at all. And they keep bringing it up and keep bringing it up and keep bringing it up. So she's just basically fed up. Um, another thing she said that is she alleges consistently and constantly and think there's even maybe, well, I don't know if the videos are still up, but that you weren't a producer in any shape or form. But that's not the truth, is it? No, that's definitely not the truth, and, you know, this YouTube video that I'm uploading tonight will definitely explain that, and it will have a lot of receipts and a lot of screenshots, and including some of my contract proving I was a producer, so, you know, a lot of that will be explained, um, a lot of text messages will be shown, a lot of um, private DMs will be shown, um, Gabby sent me a lot of stuff, so I included that, I asked her permission, she was fine with it. So that's the only reason why I did it. And, um, yeah, so just Devin, she just keeps talking and talking and talking, and she never knows when to just shut her mouth. Mm -hmm. I mean, she just goes based off just random thoughts in her head. Like, I mean, literally, I don't know where she gets this stuff. Like, she, she wasn't fed. That's total bullshit. Like, I mean, I'm, I show a bunch of uh, pictures in my YouTube video showing that she was even eating. Like, I mean, there's so much I talked about. It's hard to even explain how much I covered to you guys right now. <laughs> I mean, I know I was up at like 8 this morning and you had already posted three hours prior that you were doing this. And you've literally been working on it until like probably an hour and a half ago. 
So yeah. it should be a good one. Um, let's see. What else does she say? I'm not even. Um, so the food and the, uh, the production thing. Um, what else has she been alleging on her late night streams? I know. I know she said uh, a lot of times she went back and forth about, you know, Gabby said, you know, I had a miscarriage or announced my pregnancy or Janelle did. And nobody did but her. And she gave John Yates permission to do that. So I really don't understand why she's pointing fingers at anyone but herself because she's the one that announced it. Then, like, Us Weekly wrote about it. And, I mean, the receipts are there. Mm -hmm. um, so, let's see. I've got some questions in the question box. Um, let's see. Okay. So, anyway... Um, so she continues to go on live. So she continues to talk about it. You're MTV girl, uh, Gabby's uh, TikTok girl. Yeah. So um, that's why if anybody's wondering what the girl situation is that J Janelle has went ahead and named, then that's just why, because it's constant. It's a way for them not to have to mention their names for fear of litigation, which I believe she's already gotten some kind of a paper uh, for that. But I mean, I didn't think that anybody wanted to get to that level. So um yeah, there's just been a lot, you know, I know her mother went live today. Um, they continuously go on and talk about these stalkers that they've got. Um, I know that, you know, I had a, another Devin, page. Devin has a uh, drama with other 90 Day Fiance cast members, too. Devin what? Uh, Devin also has other drama with 90 Day Fiance cast members, too. So oh, it's, yes. it's like, you know, she surrounds herself with not just drama from the girls podcast, but like other situations she's been in and she just keeps dragging it out. Yes. And you know, um, we talked a lot about this on a live that we did last night on Laura, Laura's page from her, you know, a franchise the other way. Um, and she has got a lot of accusations in there too, because this isn't like you said, an isolated incident with just you. This wasn't a personality conflict with just you. From what I understand, everything was fine. She kind of threw a fit about, her accommodations when she got there because she had paid a portion of her the Airbnb. And then when she saw, you know, your baby was there, she kind of got, I guess, you know, uh, clammed up, got mad, told your friend to lie to you, say, yeah, they were relocating. So how did that all go? I mean, that was a big, I mean, that right there shows that she's a dishonest person. I mean, wouldn't she, shouldn't if she had just said, look, I didn't agree to this. I want my money back. I'm going to go stay somewhere else instead of having to create this big lie. Yeah, so we so everyone was under the same understanding that number one they were paying for their own expenses, and it was in everyone's contract they were paying for their own expenses to begin with. And then um, when de when um, I found the Airbnb, I sent it to Devin. I said, "Do you like this?" She said, "Yes." I said, "This is how much it is. Do you want to pay half?" She said, "Yes." In my YouTube, I show screenshots of that. And then when Gabby came along, I asked her to just to pay $200 when really Gabby should have paid 400, but I was being nice. I said, just 200, that's fine. And that covered that. It was a three bedroom Airbnb. It was really spacious, really nice. And I mean, I saw the recent vlog that she did and she stayed in a cabin and I'm sitting here like the Airbnb we stayed in was better than the cabin you stayed in. So, I mean, I don't understand why the Airbnb was such a big deal and why she makes it such a big deal. But um, she knew my daughter was coming, too. And, uh, yeah, basically the falling out happened whenever uh, Gabby and Devin, they went out to dinner with some of the assistants and everybody else. And I told them, you know, I'm staying here at the Airbnb because I have Ensley and I'm going to go to sleep. And then all of a sudden at, like, midnight... It was Devin and Gabby, and they came back to the Airbnb, and they said, oh, we're leaving. We're going to this hotel. I said, why? And they said, oh, we're doing promotional shots in the morning. I said, so you're leaving the Airbnb at 1 o'clock in the morning, packing all your stuff to bring it to a hotel. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's not, that's not suspicious. And I'm sitting here texting Gabby as she's in the driveway. And then she ends up telling me, you look, we're leaving. It's okay. We don't hate you. It's nothing against you. Literally, everybody's telling me it's nothing against you, Janelle. It's nothing against you. When in the long run, it was about me. And at dinner, they discussed how much they didn't like me and how much they didn't want to stay or not. They, I would say, you know, Devin said that. And Gabby was just going along with, I guess, what Devin was saying. And then after they left, I checked 
the other rooms and their stuff was completely gone. And I turned around and told David, I said, they're not coming back. And he was like, you really think so? I said, I know they're not coming back. And they didn't come back. And I had no idea. So, and like I said, she should have just, again, with that whole thing, just kind of been honest about it. That would probably been a better look. Um, oh, yeah, but- and I definitely did her, and she texted me back saying, look, nobody hates you. We're just leaving for the night. We'll be back tomorrow. And she didn't even tell me her concerns then when she was leaving the Airbnb, which is something that you would think would be brought up to someone. I mean, if you're that concerned, that upset, accusing someone so bad of all these allegations that were dismissed, you would think that you would at least talk to that person about it, but should he even give me that chance? And that's another thing, like, like I told you a long time ago, like, it's really hard to believe, especially since you kind of guys were associ- associated in the past and everything was fine. Like, it's kind of hard to believe that anybody that even knows of you doesn't know of everything that's happened in the past. And, like, for her to claim that she was none the wiser to any of that, to use that as an excuse, again, for the reason that she went to the producers, again, was just another, you know, a different backhanded way to avoid telling the truth and being honest. So that was very strange to me as well. <laughs> yeah. She, um, she definitely told Gabby when she was getting her hair and makeup done, um, she was showing, you know, when I was getting my hair and makeup done at the Airbnb alone, and then they were getting it done at the studio before the event, um, she was showing everybody, all the girls, all the cast members, oh, look at this article, look at that article, Janelle, this is insane, I can't believe I'm associated with something like this, and I'm just like, we talked about all my issues at the Airbnb, and like I didn't know any of this, any of this was going on until Gabby told me at the event. She's like, "Dude, Devin's been crying all day." I'm like, "Wait, what?" She's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Why didn't anybody tell me about this?" And she's like, "Well, um, you know, I've been trying to call you all day." And I was like, "Yeah, well, I didn't answer because I didn't know who to trust." And that's how I get. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, I didn't answer Gabby, and um, she was trying to give me a heads up that. They were trying to cancel me out of the event, and I didn't answer the phone. And, uh, yeah, she told me it was all Devin's fault. So so whenever she keeps saying she threw a big fit, she said she wasn't going to do it. What is she talking about? Is that after they bailed in the middle of the night and lied to you about it? Is that kind of when you got no, upset? I, um, I think she was talking about when I did show up at the studio one day. And I didn't show up at the studio that day because there was a set schedule. I made a schedule as the producer for the Girl Shit podcast. Everybody was to stick by that schedule. And the specific day that the event was, it said, do not show up at the studio till 5 p.m. So what did, to get your hair and makeup done to go to the event. So what did I do? I texted Gabby and I said, hey, I'm not going to the studio all day. I'm getting my nails done. I'm getting my makeup done. I'm getting my hair done. And I will meet you guys later at the event. And she's like, well, we're supposed to be filming podcasts. And I'm like, no, Gabby, if you look at the schedule, it says that today we're taking a break till five o'clock because we were supposed to film podcasts for two days now and no one has filmed it. So now I'm taking a break from all this drama and I'm going to go get my nails done. So apparently everyone was pissed off about that, that I went and got my nails done. So, uh, they ended up going every, all the girls, uh, were instructed, I guess, to go to the studio. So they went to the studio. I didn't. And, um, I said I would see them later. So then me not going to the studio, that's when Devin started crying and doing her shebang. Meanwhile, and so and so after that all happened, um, then the whole, you know, um, complaint to the producers, basically it's her or me type situation. Um, and ultimately, they all went to the party. Meanwhile, um, she's feeding all this information to the blogger who's on a, a YouTube live stream. Um, so not only is it like, I don't, I don't know if I was like so traumatized about what I was getting myself into with you know, Janelle, but if like, that's what she's saying, um, and then I'm just, you know, feeding information, even though she had an NDA to a blogger that went on a live stream about it. Um, I just, I was gonna say, she definitely did that. And I mean, there's proof of that. I mean, how is he able to get that information if it wasn't for her? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Exactly. Uh, let's see some more questions. Um, how did Devin get mixed or no, how did she get mixed up with the 90 day crew? Well, because 
you could tell that too. Um, basically, so I, Devin, me and Devin were acquainted on Instagram and, um, you know, she would always reply to my Instagram stories and be like, oh, I love your family. And, you know, your daughter is your twin. And, you know, she was really nice and we would talk here and there back and forth. So I thought when I, you know, when I was approached with this podcast idea, um, you know, they said, you know, we're going to recruit girls. And I'm like, okay, cool. I have some girls in mind. And Devin was one of them. So I reached out to her and I said, hey, do you want to join this podcast? Join this Zoom call and we can talk about it. And it was a Zoom call with like five other girls at the time. And um, yeah, so that's how I got involved. <laughs> yeah. Really. Um, other than that, I mean, I know Ashley Smith from 90 Day Fiance. She actually warned me about Devin, and I didn't listen, but, uh, yeah, uh, there's a lot of people that have warned me about Devin before get, getting her involved with the podcast, and uh, I didn't listen because, you know, a lot of people judge me, and I'm not as bad as, you know, everyone says, so I was just giving her the benefit of the doubt, and I was wrong. Well, sometimes we have to learn the hard way with that stuff. And yeah, I remember them having an, a major issue, Ashley and Devin and Ashley, not even refusing to be in the same room with her, even I think till this day. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, somebody says you've come so far, Janelle. Thank um, you. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Why do you entertain this drama? I think that she's entertaining. She's not, actually. She's actually not said a word. But, you know, everybody has a breaking point. And, and not, I mean, I have no, I mean, honestly, uh, YouTube is YouTube for me. And I'm going to upload whatever I feel like uploading. So, um, for me to upload this is just another YouTube video for me. It really doesn't make me upset. I'm just explaining. when, Whenever my name is going to be mentioned, I'm going to explain it because it makes big news. And if somebody keeps talking negatively about me that's not true, like as in you're not a producer, that's a big issue for me because that actually hurts my reputation. So I'm going to explain myself and I'm going to show receipts. Absolutely. You have to, especially, I mean, that, like you said, that's your name. It makes... All, you know, anytime your name's mentioned, it's, it's immediately published. Um, and, you know, I don't think she has to experience that to that level by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, you're looking at a person that has 200 and, or however many she has versus, I mean, you've got over, well over 2 million, you know, almost three. So that's like a big difference um, when it comes to engagement and, and what it does literally to your name. Um, let's see. Da -da. Look at these more comments. Um, so what is, uh, so I guess the, the outcome of the podcast is that it's not going to happen, right? It was just completely shelved after all of this drama, right? Yeah, basically, um, the podcast is not going to be happening. And in my YouTube video, I explained the last contact I have with the creator, which is, um, actually very recent and nobody knows that but you know again i show screenshots i show receipts and that will be uploaded it's actually uploading right now i got my internet to work my internet wasn't working before and uh i restarted it it's working it's uploading it's probably at like 10 percent now but you know it's probably gonna upload by 11 maybe 12 i don't know i'm gonna let my laptop sit there so whenever it's done <laughs> yeah, so y'all can go find um, just, you know, the easiest way is just to go over there and subscribe and hit the bell. That way you can just get a notification when it's uploaded. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just go over there and keep refreshing. <laughs> Those are your choices. Yeah. But YouTube.com slash Janelle Eason, or you can just go to the search bar and type in Janelle Eason. And it'll pop up. Yeah. Um, let me see if there's any more questions that aren't rude. <laughs> Yeah, there's a uh, lot of people on here, so. Savage D, the boss lady, my friend D, she says that um, she owns 5% of the podcast. Did, uh, um, no, that is not true, and I cannot wait till you guys see my YouTube video because it explains that, too. Yeah, I heard her say that, <laughs> and I was laughing pretty hard. So, uh, you know, that's actually, thanks for bringing that up, D, because this is the first time I've heard about, I've heard of this. Who is yeah. Gabby? Go ahead, like sorry. There's so much topics to cover within this one thing that that's why I had to make this video because it just covered everything. Right. Um, Janelle, how are your kids doing? 
they're doing great. Jace, um, he's in summer school, but he's doing great. He passed sixth grade. He's going to seventh grade, but, you know, he's got a little extra help. And then Kaiser, he's down in Florida with his dad. Ensley's here, and, um, yeah, Morris is here. And Jace is with, uh, y'all are, is Jace with you now, or? No, he's still with my mom currently, and we're going through a custody going battle. Going through custody battle, right. Okay. Yeah, because Devin's mom had mentioned that on her live today. Um, really? To, yeah. I was just kind of like, wow, that's really... She made sure to read the comments that were saying that, like, a couple times. So wow. I found that. Yeah, I was like... Mm. Uh, but anyway, that's kind of unfortunate, because well, if... <laughs> I was going to say, my video kind of explains some other stuff on, you know, her end, so... Um, let's see. Um, and you know, what's the funny thing is, it's like I'll branch off a little bit more on the, this whole thing that she keeps calling everybody these stalkers. And I'm not sure who she's talking about. I think she's talking about a cumulative group of people versus one person. I'm not sure, but I do know that, um, there was, and this was before I really was even paying attention to this stuff. I just know that somebody had posted it on, um, Instagram that her mother said that there were people driving by their home. And from what I, I mean, somebody sent me some information today. It was like, that was a, uh, that she was saying that, that those were her stalkers, that people were actively driving by the house and taking pictures of the car um, to post it on social media. But it was like really a, just a Google Earth search image. So I really feel like that there's a common theme. I mean, I don't know I, from what I'm seeing and what I've you know heard her say versus what, I'm sure you're going to prove it otherwise today. I just feel like there's a lot of exaggerations and narrative stretches going on, on the, in that camp. And I'm just really glad that you're going to bring it all together and kind of show your proof, your truth. And that way nobody else can argue about it. Yeah. And I mean, you know, I show receipts of her like um, sitting here saying, uh, oh, I lost my train of thought, but um I have so, I just, I have so many receipts, so many receipts, and I also explain a lot of not only Devin, but what the producer, the other producer, the creator, a lot of his opinion, because I know a lot of people are, like, confused, and, you know, he promised me that he would release a public statement, you know, defending me, and he didn't, so, I mean, a lot of those receipts are going to be in the YouTube video, um, a lot of behind the scenes pictures of the podcast will be in the video. Like, I mean, there's a whole spectrum that I've covered. Um, Gabby gave me a lot of screenshots of, you know, Devin commenting on, you know, people that Gabby isn't friends with anymore. Devin is like going to their TikToks and commenting on their videos. I'm like, why are you going to Gabby's enemies to do that? Like, what's the point? I don't go find people I follow, I don't find their enemies to comment about people I hate and try to, like, incite more drama. Myself. Yeah, and all of that. Like, why would you do that? Like, I back myself into a corner and kind of sit back and watch and try to not include myself in this drama, and she's just, like, diving right into it. <laughs> and, you know, it's like, but they claim to never want to address it. They don't want to talk about it. You know, we don't want to keep the drama going, but it seems like that's exactly the opposite of what's going on. It's constantly being talked about. It's constantly brought up. So, I mean, like I said, I think it's time. I'm glad you did this. Um, yeah. And and it, guys, it's a long video. It's 44 minutes long. Um, I had to take a lot of time inserting screenshots into my editing and um i had to film it all that took an hour and then editing took like three hours so yeah i put a lot of effort into this video so i hope you guys watch and i hope you guys enjoy <laughs> i know i'll be watching but yeah go over and subscribe to janelle's youtube we'll check it out yes we were talking about Devin from 90 day fiance if anybody else has any questions you can put them in the comment in the question box um and i will read some of them because there's a lot um in here why does she say she's a producer when the only thing she ever, okay, I didn't want to read that one. Uh, All that will be explained in the, um, yeah, YouTube. yeah, yeah. I said, I'm good. I show, I show a lot of screenshots from like my contract, Devin's contract, NDAs, like, 
I mean, I talked to him with my lawyer before posting, before making this video. So, I mean, I got, I crossed my T's, dot my I's, and yeah. So. Well, good, because, um, and I, I'm not sure, like I said, if those videos are still available on YouTube where she, you know, vehemently denies that you're a producer of any sort. They kind of make fun of you about it. Um, well, they wrote know. tons of articles quoting mm -hmm. her. So. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And um, well, hopefully they'll be writing tons of articles quoting you after the, uh, everybody sees this. I'll definitely oh, yeah, put definitely. the link in my bio once it's uploaded and we will try to get the truth out because that's what's most important all right did y'all have anything else if you i'm actually there's so many in the question box if y'all can just maybe yeah, like a couple of questions in the probably it's hard to keep up <laughs> i know it is there are um let's see <laughs> yeah there are a lot of clowns in here and they're hard to keep up i wish i could block them all um, on the video will be up again. Yeah, mine's about to die too. It literally is on the red. So we're about to wrap this up, you guys. I uh, will repost this to my page. You guys check out uh, Janelle's YouTube video, and we'll talk to y'all soon. Thanks, Janelle, for coming. Yeah, no problem. Bye, you guys. Bye. That's a good mom, or at least I take.